He was the first FDNY chief to enter the World Trade Center on September 11th, and now the last 9-11 chief to walk away from his career after 37 years of service. I'm retiring at the end of the week. After. Joseph Pfeiffer was 45 years old, chief of Battalion 1 in Lower Manhattan, when terrorists struck the Twin Towers. So that day I saw the plane, the first plane, aim and crash into the World Trade Center. And I knew it, this was a terrorist attack. He anchored the command post in the North Tower, advising his fire lieutenant brother, Kevin Pfeiffer, before Kevin joined the rescue mission with 343 other firefighters who lost their lives. Everyone that responded that day saw that thousands of people were in the greatest moment of need, and we went in to, to, uh, to make a difference in their lives. Pfeiffer says the unthinkable loss at Ground Zero has served as a foundation to drive him forward. Over the last 17 years, he's utilized his experience to prepare others for possible terror attacks in the future. He created the FDNY Center for Terrorism and Disaster Preparedness. Today, he spoke to a group of first responders about vertical terrorism awareness, how to protect high rises and tall structures. Well, we're really about this week is taking traumatic memories and turning them into hope. The 62-year-old married father of a grown daughter and son says he will eventually slow down as much as his four-year-old granddaughter will let him. She'll keep you busy. <laughs> yep, already I'm chasing her around. <laughs> and certainly grateful he has that joyful opportunity that so many had taken away. In Midtown, Hazel Sanchez, CBS 2 News. Chief Pfeiffer will now go on from firefighter to teacher, sharing his expertise on disaster preparedness at Harvard and Columbia universities.